In this video, I'm going to show how to delete a record from Firebase Firestore database and Firebase Cloud Storage. I'm going to use this existing application that I've been building throughout this video series. And you notice towards the bottom of our activity, we have a repeating list of images, or a lazy column, or we used to call it a recycler view. You'll see an image, binary image, and then you'll see the metadata or the data about the image. So the binary image is stored in Firebase Cloud Storage. The metadata about the image is stored in Firebase Database or Firebase Firestore, if you wish. Now we have a checkbox button here, which will save changes to this editable data. I will add a new button where we can delete this entire row, including the image from Firebase Cloud Storage and the metadata from Firebase Firestore Database. Let's jump right in. The delete button will be fairly straightforward because we already have a column with our save button in it. Let's simply copy this and paste right underneath and just make a few changes. We will change the description to delete. Also change the icon to delete. And let's change the function it's calling from save to delete. And since we're deleting it, we no longer need to update it. So let's take that line out. Let's go to this delete function. We'll let the IDE create it for us by holding Alt and pressing Enter. And now we can have this delete function simply call the view model and have the view model do, do the deleting. Now this delete photo function does not yet exist on the view model, but once again, I'll have the IDE help me. I'll enter and create member function. Now the rest of our work will be right here in the view model. Let's start by remembering where we store photos. So we go to the update photo database and you see it's users and then the user ID and then specimens and a specimen ID and then photos is the collection. Now, fortunately, the user and the specimen is already in this view model because we're using the view model to hold our state. Let's copy this line and bring it down. Now, since user is a nullable type, we're getting a red line here. We could do the force unwrap with the double exc exclamation, but we know there's a better approach. We can use the let scoped function. So the way that let works in Kotlin the stuff inside of the curlies will only be invoked if the object that let is called on is not null. In other words, the block that I'm highlighting here will only execute if user is not null. We'll do all of our work in this block. Inside of this, we will rename the IT variable to user. And that makes this line a little bit more friendly here. Now to delete the photo from this collection, we simply reference the collection and then the document which we can look up with that photo's unique ID. And then we simply say delete, and that deletes it. That handles the metadata, which is this data here in Cloudfire Store. Let's also consider how to purge the image from storage. So if you look at storage, we'll see images, and then we'll see a user ID, and then we'll see a series of image names. Luckily, we have all the information we need to walk this path. So you see what we're doing is we take the local URI, which is where the photo was stored on the phone, and we parse that into a URI type. And then last path segment will tell us the file name of that file. So from this, we can navigate from the images root directory to the user specific directory, and then down to that file name. And we simply have to say delete, and then we have a success and a failure listener. Remember we have two images here as we're likely to see one of them disappear shortly. Let's go back to the database and navigate to users, then our specific user, then specimens, then the Westerland Rose specimen, and then photos. And you see we have several photos here. Notice that our delete button has appeared. I'm going to go to the item NJZVRQ and let's choose delete. And you see sure enough, that document disappears very quickly here from Firestore database. Storage, images, you notice there's only one image. Quite straightforward, actually. So in this video, we've seen how to delete a record from Firebase Firestore database and Firebase Cloud Storage. I hope you found this video helpful, and I look forward to reading your comments. Thank you.